thank God for another day, a beautiful day at that. And today we are going to read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. Ephesians 4, 13. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. What are we talking about here? We are talking about the ultimate target of the Christian. Where is the target of Christianity? Because sometimes we live as if Christianity was just a nebulous affair. Anything goes. You just keep going. Somehow, when you die, you go wait for judgment. You get to heaven one way or the other. There is no fixed point. There is no target. There is no focus. This is what I have to achieve. That has been the general thing, but that's not the presentation of the scripture. What does the scripture present? The scripture says you must arrive at this point. This is where you obtain your certificate. Or this indeed is your certificate. And what is that certificate? A perfect man. The one that has arrived at the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That is to say... Your certificate, the one that you can get, is called the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Let me read it in a simpler version. I'm going to read the New Living Translation. And it says, this will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we'll be mature in the Lord measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. What is the standard of Christ? Purity, holiness, godliness, everything that is good and righteous and perfect. That's the standard of Christ. And here the scripture says, this is what you have to get. It's like you get into a primary school, you have to do X number of years Study X number of things. Pass all of these examinations and move from stage to stage until you get to the final class. And when you take that final exam and pass, here is your certificate. Are you a child of God? This ought to be your certificate. The measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. You know what the scripture says? As he is. As he is, not as he was. As he is today, so we ought to be here on earth. The life you live here, is that the way Jesus is living today? But before then, John had said in 1 John chapter 2 at verse 6, he said, look, you claim to belong to Christ? Beautiful. If you do, then walk as he walked. He lived on earth. How did he live? What is he saying? Keep to his own standard. All of these things are giving us an idea of what will happen on the judgment day. What standard did you keep? Did you keep the standard of Christ? And where we are reading does not say you, you say the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Everything that is perfected in him, that is what is supposed to be perfected in you to be perfected in me. Do I do it? Like I said, we claim to be human beings, so because of that, we fail every inch of the way. But this failure should lead us to higher heights. Did you fall yesterday? Today you should do better. But sometimes we tend to fall and keep falling and keep going worse and worse and worse. You know something in life? At a certain point, you get immune to doing that evil. At a certain point, it doesn't really count as anything for you. So it doesn't matter. You just keep doing it. You keep falling and going down, 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 down. Before you know it, you are all gone. There are so many people who were fantastic Christians at a certain point. Today, they are still in church. Today, they are holding titles. Today, they are doing every kind of thing on the surface of Christianity. But their lives, they have gone down the drain completely. So where do you belong? There is a standard for you. There is a certifying point where you are given a certificate as a child of God. Will you get that certificate? Have you gotten that certificate? But somebody has to get that certificate because he says that is where you have to get to. 
you get into a university, first year, you're welcome. Second year, whatever number of years, but there is a point at which you receive a, a degree, bachelor's degree, a diploma, a master's degree, or whatever. But it says you have to get to that point. You are targeting that point. All of your effort is at getting that thing. Is your effort now on getting to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ? Does anybody even think that we can live in the stature of the fullness of Christ? Can we be measured by the stature of the fullness of Christ? Put Christ one side. Put yourself one side. How does it look? Somebody will say, oh, grace will do it. Leave it. This thing is not saying grace will do it. It says you have to come to that point. It says I have to come to that point. Let us be serious with ourselves. I have to be serious with myself. Paul said, I beat myself so that I can bring it into line. It is time for us to beat ourselves. Beat yourself. Bring it into line. Stop those excuses. There is a standard. And what is that standard? The measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. But the Lord help all of us who are willing to do it. All of us who don't want to give excuses. All of us who are real with ourselves. And may the Lord also help those who are unreal to come to the conviction of turning around to the point of learning and understanding that there is a standard to get to. And that standard is the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That we all get there and be assured of eternal life with him. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. It's